You want some? I made it myself. <laughs> hey, Peg. I got you something that's gonna make your life much easier. You got a night job? <laughs> no, I already got one of those. It's called getting in bed with you. Well, then, uh, you've been missing work. <laughs> Anyhow, you know how you're always complaining Buck never comes when you call him? Well, I got you one of those silent dog whistles. Watch this. Here, Buck. Now watch this. <laughs> Go on, sit there and rust. Speaking of items just sitting and rusting away, it's Thursday night. Oh, nice timing, Peg. You know I'm going bowling tonight. I was gonna try to break 200, now I got this hanging over my head. Thanks a lot, Peg. <laughs> well, what's this doing up? Are we having dinner, or is this just a tease, me and the kids? No, Al. It's for later. The girls are coming over. Oh, my God, they're here. <laughs> Peg, I gotta go. Hey, where's my lucky bowling socks? Downstairs, warding off evil spirits. <laughs> He'll be going bowling soon. I know. He's meeting my dentist. And my husband. Um, um... Barry? That's it. <laughs> I can never think of his name. <laughs> ah! Oh. <gasps> it's amazing what energy they have when they're leaving the house. But not for us. You marry them, they forget you're a woman. <laughs> I do my best. Peggy, you get it once a month. What's your secret? <laughs> well, I'll tell you. You have to catch them off guard. For instance, I'll tell Al that I'm going to take a shower before going to bed. Mm -hmm. Then I'll go and turn on the shower, and Al will hurry up and get into bed and pretend to fall asleep before I get out. Oh, oh, yeah. Yeah. Actually, though, I am hiding in the darkened room, and I grab him just as he hits the mattress. <laughs> sure, sometimes there's a fight, but in the end, it gave us two beautiful children. Oh. <laughs> I can't understand it. Our husbands don't want to sleep with us anymore. Why? <laughs> Maybe he's afraid he'll wake up in your stomach. <laughs> Must he be here? I'm going, I'm going. <clears throat> oh, God, it calls them from everywhere. Hi, Peg. Sorry to interrupt, girls, but I'm in a hurry. Steve and I have sort of a date plan tonight. He's meeting me at a sleazy bar where he's going to pick me up. Can I borrow a cigarette? Steve just loves it when I smoke and look like trash. <laughs> sure. Uh, excuse me, but uh, if you're married, why are you going out? We're role playing. It adds mystery and excitement to our love life. With your husband? How much of a love life? Every 36 hours. Except on weekends when we catch up. Give us some cigarettes, Peggy. Yeah, let's go to the bowling alley and turn on our men. Al, what are you doing home so early? Peg, you should have seen it. There was a riot at the alley. Your friends showed up stinking of chocolates and cigarettes. They started yelling, take me, I'm trash. <laughs> Nobody did. But then the riot started. It was ugly, Peg. Men screaming, running for the exits. <laughs> I didn't quite understand what they were saying, but I think something big's happening in 36 hours. <laughs> Do we have any canned goods, Peg? This could be it. <laughs> 